Hello, Viking Nation. I am Chanel, and I'm here with the talented Miss Telling, who is the Food and Nutrition 1 and 2 teacher at South Ardell High School. So, Miss Telling, um, do you have any tips and tricks and websites that people at South may be able to use during quarantine? Absolutely. I've been um, experimenting myself with a lot of different recipes, and I will share my screen here to show you some of the things that um, – that I have found. I, of course, my first go-to is Pinterest. And I created this little board right here of some just different things that I've done um, over quarantine. I've roasted nuts, made cocktail sauce, um, spicy black bean balls, uh, my blender muffins. I add fruit to those. Um, I do have overnight oats that I've had my students try, and I've gotten into roasting vegetables. Um, I've made homemade hummus, which is delicious with raw veggies, crossless quiche, energy bites. So those are just a few different ideas. What I love about Pinterest is that um, you can kind of get an idea what the food trends are and try different recipes, and then you can save them so that you can go back and use them again. Um, another thing that I've just discovered is my fridge food home. And um, so what you do, and I went ahead and did this, and what you do is you just check off all the items that you have on hand, which I did the items that I happen to have at school here. And then you just click find recipes. So this is a great thing to do because during quarantine, we've all had to get super creative with what we have on hand. I don't know about you, but sometimes I'm just not the best at looking at what I have in the fridge and figuring out how to put, best put it together, eat it all up before I have to go out to the store again. So this is a great website, My Fridge Food. Um, there might be others like it, but you get the idea. And this will tell you a lot of the different recipes that you could make. And you already know that you have the things on hand. I think towards the end, it gets to, okay, well, maybe you don't quite have all the ingredients. But that one does a really good job of helping you use up food before it goes bad. So do you have any easy recipes or maybe healthy eating tips? Because I know people in quarantine want to stay healthy and fit just to make sure and everything. I mean, it's really important that we all eat super healthy right now just to boost our immune system because it is a pandemic and we are trying to all, you know, fight off any illness at this point. <laughs> um, and th what we've been doing is um, – is I just try to really watch what I'm getting at the grocery store and making sure that I'm taking a lot of fresh fruits and veggies and incorporating them in. Um, as far as at school is concerned, we are, um, I try to take a lot of recipes that can be altered. So like the quiche that I just showed you, I would then maybe make it again in a week or two when I'm not sick of it. And but use different combinations of meats, cheese, and veggies. Um, and that's what we've done in class too is found recipes that can be easily tailored based upon what students have on hand. Um, so I was telling, what have your students been doing for assignments and projects relating to the culinary world? So we have been focusing on the recipes that have a lot of different options based upon what ingredients the students have on hand, just so that they don't have to go out to the store. Um, at the beginning of the semester, we asked that they have, or we would provide for them just some basic staple ingredients. Um, and we also tie in things that have to do with curriculum. So um, foods one is a little more, basic uh, basic type recipes, but foods too, we cover um, serve safe and foodborne illness. And so for instance, we did um, mock Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets with the thermometer to check the internal temperature. Um, we have a cultural food section coming up. Um, we've been doing nutrition. I've been emphasizing breakfast because I feel like a lot of teenagers don't don't eat breakfast, and it is the most important meal of the day. So we did a carbohydrates, um, complex carbohydrates lab in which they had several different options of overnight oats, baked oats, 
Um, we did a protein breakfast lab where they did um, savory egg muffins with different vegetables and meats and cheeses that they had on hand, almost like a little bit of a quiche type of a muffin. Um, and blender muffins, which are like a peanut butter base. So I've been really trying to focus on and find foods that I think teenagers will like and want to make again. And I'm really excited because most of my students have found um, foods that they've already started to make over and over again. So that's kind of cool. Well, so thank you. I will definitely take all of this into consideration for when I make stuff during quarantine.